Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I come to you today from Airlie Beach, Australia. And you can see back there, it's kind of a gray, rainy day, um, but the water is amazingly blue. I was wondering just how blue this water would be if the sun were actually out. But um, here on board Celebrity Edge for 11 day cruise in Australia. And in this video, you're gonna see my day in Airlie Beach today and the excursion I'm about to leave and go on. And then tomorrow we're gonna be in Cairns and I'm gonna show you that excursion too. So a lot of Australia content to come in this video. I'll also show you general stuff around the ship as well. So come on if you're ready, let's get our adventure here in Australia on board the Celebrity Edge started. So it's currently uh, 1045, my excursion meeting time is at 1215. Over on the pier, uh, or over on the uh, like shore side, I guess. This is a tender port. I think most all of our ports here in Australia are going to be tender ports. So I do have to go down and get the tender at some point. Another thing I've got to do is figure out where my tickets for this excursion are, because I did book this late. I booked it yesterday afternoon, and they said that on the app that they would send my tickets to my room, and I haven't gotten them yet, but I'm going to go check outside my door now in hopes that they left them out there. I um, also need to run up and grab something to eat really quick. So I'm going to do that, and uh, then we'll head off on our day here in Airlie Beach. I'm really excited. If you guys have ever watched um, the TV show Below Deck, Below Deck, Down Under, the first season of that show was filmed here in Airlie Beach. So I've been really excited to see that, like where it was filmed, and just see some really a first taste of Australia. This is our first port on this cruise outside of Sydney, which is where we left from. So I'm really excited for my first glimpse of Australia and really hoping that the weather clears. I think it's supposed to get a little bit uh, better weather. Maybe the sun will come out as we get into the afternoon. So that's why I'm glad my excursion doesn't start until afternoon. So let's go. So just got my tickets printed and we're good to go for the excursion today. Uh, but they did just get done calling tenders at 11 o'clock. So from 7 to 11, uh, like four hours there, they were calling tender numbers all the way to number 50-something. So they do it by a numbered okay. ticket system. You have to get those somewhere on the ship. But if you're staying in the retreat or if you have a short excursion, you use your short excursion ticket. Or you can go to the retreat lounge if you're a retreat guest and just go from there. You don't actually need a tender number. But uh, interesting that they it took four hours for them to get through all the tender numbers for just general guests who want to go ashore and sort of do their own thing so uh yeah it seems like maybe the weather is affecting the opera the tender operations this morning and making it a little bit slow but uh, nonetheless they're open tender now so anyone can go anytime they want to all right it is pouring down rain but i'm going to show you one of the cool things about celebrity actually let me cut on the light here uh, this is the hallway into my suite here we go there's not a lot of light here. That's one thing I've noticed. It's a great suite, but it's very dimly lit here. Like when you're trying to look in your closet, I wish there are no lights inside the closet either. I just wish there was a little bit more light. But uh, there are two umbrellas. This is a bigger one. I'm not carrying that because that is huge to keep up with. But here's a smaller one right here. So there are two umbrellas. And I think in all rooms, there's umbrellas in these shelves that you can use. They're not free to take home, but they're free to use throughout the cruise. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this because it's needed. And I don't want to wear a poncho because that just gets too hot. But hopefully it'll stop raining. But just wanted to remind you that you do have these things in here. There's also some binoculars in here if you want to like get a closer look at the rain, I guess. But uh, yeah, umbrella. Lifesaver today. So we've now made it to Airlie Beach. And uh, my question for you is, does anyone fancy a swim? Can you see behind my umbrella there? the beach it doesn't look very beachy today a uh, little bit of uh, late breaking development when we got to the meeting point uh, it, right after the tender when the tender boat let us off over there at the port uh, they actually let us know that our excursion was canceled and I said well that's pretty great that no one told us that like when we were leaving the ship before we took this 30 minute tender ride over here but uh, they said because of the weather it's pretty understandable because it's like a sightseeing tour and because of the weather because it's so rainy uh, there's just no way to do that, you know, uh, which I get, uh, but still it was like, oh, but luckily we found out they do have a free bus transfer from over at the port, like at the immediate port area, coming over here to Early Beach. So, uh, it was free. It's included for all cruisers. So that was nice to take that and get to come over here and walk around. Now there is a town I'm looking at it now. I'll, I'll flip the camera around here in a minute to show you, but there is the town right here, um, a lot of restaurants and stuff. This uh, Early Beach Hotel right here, a huge restaurant with like outdoor seating. It looks beautiful. It smells delicious. Like I wish this was uh, smell-o-vision. I know that that's very cliche. A lot of people say that, but I really do because it smells so good here. 
uh, I wish you could get the whole like experience. I wish you could be like getting rained on right now and like just it's very humid here. It's very tropical feeling. Of course, we did sail north to get here, so we're closer to the equator. So it is more tropical than what we were uh, when we left Sydney. So that's understandably uh, more humid here. But uh, it's a beautiful place so far, despite all the rain. I'm hoping the rain will slack up. There's still like three hours before we have to be back to the tender boat to get back on the ship. So I'll have to take the bus. The bus was about 15 minute ride from the tender drop off location. So anyway, my feet are wet. Uh, that's not your problem though, enough of me talking. We'll walk around here, I'll show you some stuff. But uh, unfortunately, it's not the type of day that you dream for as a vlogger in a new land that you've never been to before because it's just so rainy and dreary and that never makes for good footage so yeah let's check out a little bit of early beach how about that so this right here is wild to me this is a hazardous marine stingers they're saying that the stingers may be present in these waters the high risk period is from november to may that's of course the summer season and i'm visiting in like late february so like peak season for the stingers they're also known as box jellyfish and i know that they have jellyfish everywhere it's not like anything specific to australia but apparently this is a big problem. Uh, they cause instant and severe burning skin pain. Sting marks are whip-like and appear as burn marks on the skin. A uh, victim may stop breathing and rapidly lose consciousness. Y'all, I'm sorry. I love Australia so far, but I'm not getting in the water. I'm not getting in the water. Even if it was a beautiful sunny day, I'm not getting in the water. They just have like animals down here that we don't have. Uh, just very unique animals and stuff. So. Uh, I've seen pictures of like sharks right up on the beach. I'm not getting in this water. But interestingly enough, they talk about how vinegar is used to treat uh, this terrible side effect of this thing. And they actually provide vinegar right there, right here on the beach. So that is crazy. And there's actually two or three of these I've passed as I've walked down the beach all the way back down that way. But just wanted to show you and tell you to be on the lookout for the box jellyfish at Early Beach. All right, if you've ever watched uh, Below Deck Down Under, the first season they're in early beach they're like uh hosted out of early beach and magnums is the nightclub they go to like constantly like every time they're in port they go to magnums and this is magnums so if you're a fan of the show let me know down below i love below deck because it's like cruising and then also like the trashiness of reality tv so what's not to love right and if you've not watched it i encourage you to try it out so pretty much walked all the way to the end of the strip now they do have this early beach Heart of the Reef sign here, and of course Heart of the Reef because the Great Barrier Reef is just a few miles from here. So this is like the launching point for folks to take tours and stuff, or to go snorkeling and whatever out on the Great Barrier Reef. But you can look back down this street and see all the way where we've just come. There's a lot of restaurants and stuff here, a lot of fast food eateries and stuff. We'll see more when we walk back. I'll show you more of it, but uh, just wanted to show you the main drag here. So now I walked up the street just a little bit further to the marina. This is one of two marinas here in Early Beach, but this is the most famous one, I guess, because of its feature on the television show Below Deck. This is actually the uh, marina where they would leave out of on all of their charters, and that's the rough turn right there that I always be trying to make to get out of the marina. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much it, the extent of Early Beach. It's a tiny, tiny place, but a beautiful place, and I know it's famous for people who are looking to go out and see the Great Barrier Reef. So back out on Main Street now, uh, a lot of little cafes and stuff, a lot of little local eateries, you know, a lot of little local places that you wouldn't be able to eat at just anywhere. Um, so that's cool to explore like new places to eat. No, I'm kidding. Uh, of course, McDonald's, but there are a lot of places to eat, a lot of souvenir t-shirt shops. It reminds me of just an average beach town, even like in America, like a lot of the little beach towns that you might vacation to. That's really much the vibe here. And I just wish the weather was nicer. I know it'd be beautiful, but uh, as great as it is, it'd be even better. I know the sun are out right now, but uh, you just gotta take what you can get with travel sometimes. So just back to the room now, it's now 2.40 PM. Uh, it took over an hour to like wait in line, to get on the tender, to get over here. It's a very slow process. They're using very large tender boats here. And I think that's part of the problem because they wanna fill them completely full uh it, it's a third party it's not celebrity you know typically celebrity uses their lifeboats they have lifeboats that they designate as tender boats uh they're bigger and they can you know take those over and that's usually pretty quick but i think because it's such a great distance between the ship and actually the dock that they were using a third party company so it took 
a long time and then security and then it was a lot of people so just now back to the room i think i'm gonna order some room service um and uh, have some lunch here in the room and just relax and then enjoy the evening here on board before we get to our port of call at cairns tomorrow It's now 10.30 p.m., um, about to go to bed. I did go to dinner at Lumine again. It was good. I will say, though, I feel like the menu gets a little boring here in the middle, or not even quite the middle of the cruise, but, you know, we're several days in now. I just feel like the selections are a little boring, um, not as exciting as they were the first couple nights. So a dinner was just okay, and then went to uh, a little bit, whatever, like 15, 20 minutes of Fill the Funk. That was the stage production show tonight. And that was a pretty good show. What I saw of it, like the 20 minutes, it had the crowd up and going. Uh, so it seemed like folks are really enjoying that. But that being said, um, I'm off to bed for now. And I'll catch up with you in the morning when we arrive in Cairns. Oh, I did want to show this real quick because I got this one early in the week. Um, or like two days ago, rather. And then tonight I got these two. This one and this one. And notice it's the same thing. The perfect spa day, 75 minutes, scalp massage, full body massage, revitalizing foot massage, a, a facial, and a collagen eye treatment. $169 and then $149. These were both delivered tonight, two different prices, uh, and $149 a couple days ago. So I think this sounds like a really good deal. They might have sold me on this for $149, but I just think it's funny that... They're giving some people 169 and some people 149. Y'all, you have to watch them. You really do. Good afternoon. Hello. It's the next day now. It's about 2.15 in the afternoon. And here's the situation in Cairns, Australia. It's a rainy day, but it's getting better. It's improving. Earlier, you couldn't even see the land over there because of all the rain. It's been raining a lot this morning but uh, I think it's finally time to head out so far today haven't done a lot of anything I did have breakfast in Luminae, and I'll put some clips in here of that breakfast another delicious breakfast including some toasted muesli which was amazing I love muesli and the toasted muesli they have in there is fantastic and then I also had the savory potato waffle it had cheese on top it had actually a layer of uh, a couple of slices of cheese some bacon a fried egg on top that was uh all runny which is really nice and then some syrup over the top really good really savory really hearty uh breakfast but uh now it's time finally i've been waiting on the rain to slack off it's finally slacked off i did have my excursion like i said i canceled it i'm just gonna go walk around in the city of cairns so it is gonna be a tender over to it's called yorkie's knob it's actually like the pier where we're going and then or the harbor where we're going and then there's a bus a free bus shuttle it's like a 30 minute shuttle that will take us over to karen's we'll walk around sort of see what's there and then we'll do like a little walking tour like we did yesterday in early beach and then we'll come back to the ship so uh let's head that way now and get that process started because it's probably going to take at least an hour probably to get all the way over to karen's from here uh just on the bus and the tender and everything else so let's go do that now Need a little from your boat. Look, you're a bit red faced and angry. I might add. I don't know why. So now I'm just off the bus here in Cairns, and that was about 20 minutes bus ride from Yorkie's Knob, so not too bad. Uh, but a beautiful place down here. It did quit raining, thankfully. Um, so we're just going to walk around out here and uh, see what we can get into. There's actually the big line of people you could see back there. Uh, they're all waiting to get on the bus back and it's a long line. Uh, the bus driver remarked that they're, those folks are red faced and not happy because of the, uh, the wait. There's a lot of people. And I did just see on the Facebook group for our cruise, folks said it's not great bus service. So we might be over here for a while. It's currently 325 though. Like I said, very quick and easy getting over here. Apparently there is a cruise pier. We'll walk down here in a minute. Ships can actually dock. You don't actually have to be tendered here, but 
uh, we sort of drew last straw and uh, there was no room for us. So that's why we're gonna be out um, out in the harbor essentially for the next couple of days, uh, tendered out there and be brought in on tender and have to be bussed over here. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's, uh, let me flip the camera back around here and show you some of the stuff I'm seeing so far. It's like this is main plaza. And there's a big pool here. Uh, there's a Ferris wheel over there too, but uh, I'm assuming this is a public, this is called the Lagoon. This is like a public pool here. Uh, it's funny how you can see the pool and then beyond that you can see the water. The water's very muddy out there in the ocean, but uh, the pool is actually pretty cool. There's like a little splash section here. There's actually sand down there. It's like a beach. So pretty neat right here in the middle of the city of Cairns they have lagoon place where folks can bring the kids or the adults can come and and swim so if you're coming here on a cruise maybe think about wearing your uh, swimming attire and you can go swimming here too of course there are uh, like we saw on early beach yesterday there are local dining establishments uh, all over the place so plenty of places to eat like uh this one here i'm always tempted by mcdonald's y'all i joke but uh they always have such different things like in each country you go to so i'm always very tempted to just like crash the mcdonald's there's also a lot of surf shops of course we're just uh miles from the great barrier reef so of course they have uh places where you can buy gear but a lot of travel places too uh, like this one across the street it's a happy travels but a lot of places selling tours essentially that you can book so you can go out on the barrier reef um so if you do just come here and don't really have a lot planned uh know that you can hop on a tour to the great barrier reef here and do a full day out there uh, here's just a little bit of wayfinding. See their cruise line terminals right down the street. So let's walk down that way and see uh, see what that's about. It's just really cool to see all the different vegetation and to hear all the different wildlife, like the birds. They just sound so different. The vegetation looks so different. Uh, it's just really cool. And then that chirp was not natural. That was the uh, crosswalk. And this building right here, we haven't walked far. We just crossed the street right there. Uh, this is the Cairns Art Gallery, and they said that it's free. You can just walk in there. The entrance is actually around the street there, or around just around the corner. But anyone can go in for free. There's also Woolworths here, which is apparently the grocery store, the local grocery chain uh, in Australia. So if you do need food or maybe medication or something like that, you can grab that here. Now we've made it down here to the cruise terminal. There are two cruise ships here, uh, Arcadia, and then I don't know what the one down there is. I can't see the name of it, but they're smaller cruise ships, but certainly um, we could have probably docked here had these not been here. Arcadia is looking rough. I'll say that, uh, very rusted. Um, and right across the street here, there's the Barrier Reef Hotel. So we're just walking on the wharf uh, here along the cruise ship terminal. Uh, and there is some dining here. There's an Italian restaurant, Ollie's Italian. There's Dundee's. Dundee's is a uh, waterfront dining, but it is a seafood restaurant. Uh, so if you want a bite to eat, this would probably be a good place to come. It looks like very classy restaurants here. And then a lot of boats over here. Well, shortly after I said all that and showed you all that, the skies sure enough did open up poured down rain i mean a huge thunderstorm uh lots of rain just now making it back on the ship it's 7 15 i just took a shower about to head downstairs now because at 7 30 they're actually having an aboriginal performance they're bringing folks on board the ship from australia uh, to do an aboriginal performance and i'm really excited i love stuff like that so i'm excited to see that but a great day today in cairns i actually did go to the art gallery, a beautiful art gallery. I actually just walked around a little bit more and then got back on the bus. It took forever to get back though because there was so much traffic because of the rain and it's just like the end of the day. So it took about an hour and a half to two hours just to get back to the ship. So um, that was an eventful afternoon. Glad to be back on board. I'm gonna go to the show then go to dinner and I'll catch up to you just after that. shower on to uh to take a shower and why is the water brown can you see that there's stuff in it there's a lot of like debris in it